Hello YouTube viewers, I'm Azura Fusma. Ugh, oh, Hi YouTube viewers, I'm Azura Fusma Cosplay and I'm here to do my second Milano.com review. Alright, the costume that I chose to do today is Tachibana Kanade from the anime Angel Beats. A little bit behind the character, she's introduced in the first episode as a bad guy, but really, she's the good guy. What? So, as you go along and watch the series, you realize just what she's there to accomplish, and you grow from hating her to absolutely loving her, and then crying at the end because everyone gets happy endings in a sense. Yeah, there's just so many feels in that anime that I was not expecting to feel. So, always a good anime. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's amazing. Alright, so next part of the review. This costume itself cost me $70. Now this $70 included expedited shipping, which is three to five days shipping. Uh, it also included it being tailor-made to my size. That in itself is awesome. Yes? Yes. So, on top of only being $70, it was also delivered to me in five weeks. Having a tailor-made costume sent from China in five weeks is almost unheard of. So, so far, so good with this costume. It's not very expensive, and it also was shipped to me very quickly. Alright, so, this costume itself came with five different pieces. And those five different pieces are the skirt, the jacket, the undershirt, the bow, and surprisingly enough, it came with a little hair clippy. Alright, so, I'm going to go piece by piece and explain how I feel about each of the pieces, what I like, what I don't like, um, and then at the end I'm going to give an overall rating of the costume itself. Alright, so we're going to go smallest to largest, which means the hair clippy I'm wearing my back. Alright, basically the hair clip is a piece of fabric, you know, stretch fabric uh, to put over your ponytail to give that um, clip like effect. It's fabric, it doesn't have anything to hold it up, so even as you saw just a second ago, it's kind of falling down and I'd be really worried about losing it at a convention or during a photo shoot. You know, you're running, you're going, you're doing, and the last thing you want to worry about is your hair piece falling out. Now, I wasn't even expecting to get the little hair clippy. I wasn't expecting that, so that was always a good plus. Um, I'll have to figure out a way to keep it up, maybe like a safety pen or something. Uh, so that's always good. Um, the next piece is the little bow that I have going on here. Um, the bow is a clip-on, so you just pin it on to the white shirt that I'm wearing underneath. Uh, it's just, you can tell that the fabric, there's not really insulation on it. But the fabric itself, you know, it's got a nice stitching. You can tell it's one long yellow strip and they've just looped it around to make the little bunny grab it. So you don't have to worry about tying the tie or having it fall off or any of the sort of having it uneven or not fitting around your neck. It's there. It's already done. Just pin and done. Alright, um, the gym to it as well is not a resin gym, it's plastic. But it's kind of, it's kind of cool in its own sense. I actually really like the gym for being a plastic gym. Uh, the way it's cut, it shines and shimmers. Um, and it's also got, instead of just being a straight purple color, it's like kind of a tie-dye effect with like little veins on top. So it's really cool looking. So I, I really am appreciative of that. All right, the next piece that I'm gonna talk about is the skirt. Uh, the skirt uh, is made out of a really soft material. It's very awesome to just like, uh, it's got box pleating. Uh, when I got it, it was ironed. I've been wearing this costume for a little bit, like for a few hours, so it's kind of gotten a little bit wrinkled. So the wrinkliness is on me, it's not on the lot. The white lining underskirt is a really good addition to this skirt uh, compared to a lot of skirts that don't have it. Uh, it adds to the volume and it adds to the overall effect of the costume because you do see that Tachibana does have that white in her skirt, so it's awesome that Milana.com went that extra step to actually put that in there. I'm going to show you, I promise I'm not going to flash you as much. So it's got the little lace on the bottom and then the same lining as the inside of the jacket as well. Alright, 
Um, the white shirt, self-explanatory. Uh, it's a nice little white shirt. I wouldn't suggest wearing it over anything or alone because it's kind of thin. It's kind of thin, but it's okay because it's an undershirt. You don't see an undershirt. Uh, I would suggest if you plan on taking the over jacket off during a convention or a photo shoot, wear a tank top or something underneath the white shirt because if not, you're going to be seeing all sorts of undergarments that you don't want people to be seeing, I promise. Uh, and last piece, uh, but not least, is we have the jacket. Uh, there are several things that I really like about the jacket. Uh, it's got this gold button and little purple fabric here so that you can clip stuff or you know it's just a really nice effect overall. Um, I like how the cuff itself is rolled and sewn so it, you don't have to worry about the cuff flipping out. So that's a really good uh, thing that I don't have to worry about anymore. Um, the material is thicker and heavier. Uh, so it gives that nice over jacket, you know, you can actually wear it as a legitimate jacket if you so choose. Um, the buttons themselves are actual buttons, it's not like a zipper or anything faux. It's literal, you can button it up, so that's also a plus. A lot of jackets that I receive from online companies are either a zipper or a velcro or they have faux buttons and you just slip it on, so it's really good that they have that. Um, as well, they have shoulder pads here. Because coming in, you know, she's more stiff and upright and, you know, prim and proper. You know, doing that all day, every day for a convention, it's going to hurt. I've done it before, so it's really nice that I don't have to worry about that. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, so, for once in my life, I think shoulder pads are actually better. Yeah! Alright, um, as well, uh, the pockets are all workable. So you've got one breast pocket and two side pockets uh, as well. You've got this cute little coat tail on the back. Um, the jacket is pretty fitted, so I would really like that. You know, a lot of jackets you wear, you look like a marshmallow. Uh, this one actually brings it in a little bit so that you don't look like a marshmallow. Yes. Um, there is only one flaw that I've seen with the jacket so far, um, and it actually has been mentioned by several people before who bought this costume because I read several reviews that people did. Um, the buttons, uh, I've had, I actually just while I was making the first cut of this review, um, one of the buttons has actually fallen off, but all I need is a needle and a little bit of thread. It's right back on. So for that to be pretty much the only flaw with this costume, uh, that's pretty darn good for $70. So now I'm going to do a rating. I'm going to do three, oh, three different ratings. Uh, the first rating is of the costume itself. Um, I'm going to give the costume an 8.5. Uh, I wish the buttons were a little more on there securely. Um, I wish the undershirt was a little bit thicker so that way whenever I took my jacket off, uh, it wouldn't be you know, visible like undergarments visible. Um, I would prefer an actual clip rather than a little fabric piece for the hair. Um, good things about the costume, I like the underskirt. Uh, that was awesome. I like the little detail here. I like the fact that I wasn't expecting a hair bow and I got a hair bow. I wasn't expecting an undershirt and I got an undershirt. You know, I liked how I was able to get all of that for $70. Um, Second is going to be the pricing. Uh, I'm going to say 9, 9.5 for the pricing of this costume. Yeah, it's got the buttons falling off just a little bit, but that's an easy fix. If that's the only thing you're having issues with for a $70 costume, yeah, you're doing really good. I promise you. So the pricing on this was really fair, especially for how quickly it got to me and the fact that it was tailor-made to my size. Alright, and my third rating is a service rating for Milano.com for this transaction. I have to say, um, I was not expecting uh, as much of a like warm welcome to my questions as I did get. I, I want to give my service a 10. Uh, and that's crazy that I would rate the service a 10 on, you know, my first review, 
but I've been buying and selling and going and doing in the world of cosplay for over two years now and I've done over 150 online transactions and I have never had such good service before so that's always a really big plus. So thanks for watching my review. This has been Azura Fisma Cosplay on Milano.com's Cosplay of Tachibana Kanade.